Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to diversify my content a little bit and show an interesting rank game I had. I'm currently playing solo lane for the Content Creator Cup, so I'm learning and practicing solo lane right now. It's a nice change up from the kind of decade I played competitive jungle. Now I'm playing comp solo. Amaterasu is very strong right now uh, as she uses all three of Vital Amplifier, Frostbound and Equinox really well. Uh, but I'd only pick two of those since uh, neither of them, all three of them don't give any defense. And in this game I chose Vital Amplifier and Frostbound for the mana sustain they give. And because Frostbound really uh, destroys immobile characters like Nemesis and Apwash. I didn't want to go TP since I wanted Thorns and Beads. Uh, Thorns is very good into Apwash and Beads is very good into Ulla and Kerberos who I would I was bound to play against uh, later on in the game. I didn't want to go TP uh, since I wanted Thorns and Beads. Thorns is very good against Apwash and Beads lets me kind of Beads the Ularax while I'm diving Apwash and survive when my ult's down and I get CC'd. I chose to go uh, Thorns level one because Beads doesn't really do anything against Nemesis and Mulan. I can kind of Amat ult anything that might CC me and kill me. So I decided that if I went Thorns level 1, it actually got changed at the start of Season 11 uh, to give 15% mitigation, so it already makes you a little bit tankier, especially combined with Amat 2, which also gives mitigation. And it just gives an explosion after 3 seconds, uh, So and it even hits minions, so it can be really good for wave clear early game. I enjoyed this game because I got to kind of slowly take over the game off early kills, uh, and dominate team fights later just because I made smart relic choices and item choices at the start of the game. So don't let solo laners tell you their role isn't impactful. I'm just playing solo lane Amat here. Playing against Bluestone so I want to use my axe procs and then like kind of chill a little bit. And that, there we have it, the thorns, uh, OP, bro. And I'm, I'm just gonna actually back here right away, put a level on my one, just so I don't get absolutely owned on, like, him, him backing, getting, like, a health chalice and a full HP again. I don't think he'll be able to clear the wave quick enough for me to lose anything. But I mean, talk about the perfect Thorns level 2. I mean, I think he got the coup, but obviously. I think if you go Bluestone, uh, then there's no actual way I can get it guaranteed every time. I just wanted to make sure I get the... I think it's better I get Scepter than anything, then I can get everything from it. So I could get my ult here. But I kind of want to get my two and just secure this. Retreat. Damn, I almost fucked that up. Okay, then M's gonna follow me here, that's fine. He missed his sash, so there's nothing happening here. It's fine. It's good that the Nezha was there, I guess. Then I never lose blue.
basically the perfect start, given that um, I got the solo kill. I got back to wave without losing too much. I, might hurt someone with this. I don't really need those. I don't even think I need wards, though. Nemesis and Mulan don't really kill me that well. Unless Mulan gets me in a perfect, uh, a perfect CC chain. I could have stayed there just because Mulan had limited mana. No, I didn't get that. I think it's better I play my own game, especially when I don't have TP, uh, as opposed to trying to play spoiler. Have a great day. And I think I should... Let's try to rotate mid here. It's unusual to rotate this early, but a god like Abwash literally can't do anything. I don't even think uh, I necessarily needed to be there, but here we are. I made the rotation, you know. Can't really. Make sure we get this. I mean, this is tragic, isn't it? I think I'm fine. Oh, what a shell. I think this guy is absolutely fucked. I could have pulled the bull demon after, that sucks. Oh well, I mean, I'm a huge shutdown, so maybe playing my life isn't too bad. Yeah, Amy, uh, early game, she is no joke. I mean, late game, she's not bad either, but uh, honestly, it's the kind of the mid game period that I think is really good about her. Okay, I don't really know how I missed that. Careful left. I ain't gonna be careful left. Though I can go do buffs, I think. Have a great day. Between waves. Even if I lose a couple of minions to tower or whatever. She's gonna be losing an entire wave. Completed. I'm gonna be here just in case. Looks like it's fine. I think I want to use my two here. Just use my two on the wave and then uh, maybe have it up for CDR. So far the game's going swimmingly. 
I really wanted to be 12 there. An enemy has been slain. <laughs> I was tempted to ult him there. I really don't want a one for one to kill him, so... That's a massive win. Even if she has TP, she's gonna lose so much now. I get this, even though I think I, I'm de I can definitely be greedy enough to get Discord, and I definitely want to go beads. So if my ult is ever down and I get like curb ulted, or I can use it really aggressively on the Ulla um, to just kind of beads the stun and kill him. I guess the attack speed is fine. So I don't need to fight, I don't need to like give the Mulan her training weapons, uh, maybe if she fucks up really hard I can kill her, but... I'm happy just kind of snowballing. I'll just run this way a little bit. I don't even need to, I don't think. I thought the Nem might come under me. I could dive up wash, I don't think I can. Oh, the Kerberos is right here. Let's start stacking this bad boy up. And I guess wards start getting really good when I can get them super deep. So, let's do that. It's weird that the curb even came. Like, what's he gonna do? You know? At a higher level, a support's not gonna come to something that doesn't have any value at all. I'll just let my scepter kill this thing. The guy's not... I was gonna say. The guy's already used his ult. Hmm. We should hack down the mid tower, honestly. If we can get Scepter plus mid tower, that'd be a massive win. Massive hit on that. The Apwash will die eventually, no matter what. Looks like they're gonna try to make a fight out of it. I was gonna say we should just kill that thing. We can attack gold. Don't worry about me. Just taxi these guys. I had to make sure I silenced his two. I didn't think he could ever kill me if I 
If we, as, so as long as we got gold, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, they've got mostly Fizz, so let's go for Midgard, Breastplate. I am actually, I think uh, cooldown is actually really good on Emma later on in the game. When you can kind of just use your 2 and 2-3 uh, ult on cooldown really quick, like a lot. I think you you want as much uptime on your ult as possible late game. Guess I'll keep the attack speed though. It's definitely falling off. Killing him. We could attack Fire Giant though. We could honestly do the middle one, but we're not gonna do that one quick enough for five seconds. It's too late. Give me that, I can use it. May as well get the breastplate too. I like Breastplate a little better than Regrowth late game, just because uh, you can glyph it up, which I think is a really big deal. It's a really big difference. Whereas before I'd say super late game, the movement speed from Regrowth can't be beaten really, but the, the glyph on Breastplate also gives movement speed too. And it gives it a really crucial time, and also it just gives so much more um, prot, right? Switch stance every time I can for attack speed. I guess I get amplifier as well if I switch stance a lot. I can spam rotate. I really shouldn't walk over the thing. I could also just hit it for stacks. Oh no, that's so bad. I'm just gonna bomb there. <laughs> it worked out. Not a chance. I mean this guy's dead if they want to kill him. Maybe they didn't see see me there. Okay, I should be doing fire. Me getting my passive on this and just sitting in my reg stance is more important than anything else I can do, I think. Just give them movement speed, and the Kerberos has chosen violence. In right lane. Well played, I think the blue buff will, is really good for me here. Me walking over that probably makes the Ola play safe or sneaky, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, so what could I get here? Probably just another defense item. I mean, Discord would be fine. So with the Arc Druids could be fun. Um, an attack speed item could be really fun too. Like I could go Kins. But more defense I think is correct. Uh, let's see, I could just go Pestilence. I think Pesty would. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't spend 10 minutes in base figuring it out, but it's not like I'm playing a million Amat games over and over again. I want to be with a team for objectives. Like, so screw the left tower. Let's just do... I'm going to make my teammates faster doing this, so...
Damn. This is kind of criminal, but... I'm gonna make sure the Kerberos dies. They're like not really cutting the options ever. I'm just gonna take this bomb and uh, make sure we get mid Phoenix with it. Just kind of want to taxi them. We don't really need the Heim either. Oh god. I don't know if I just saw any good smite whatsoever. This thing's dead already. Make sure that guy dies for that. Uh, we should really attack this. Okay. Trying to taxi them. And the Heim's gun for random autos rather than trying to win. I mean, I don't know what we can do here, really. I think I might be dead to... The fact that Flash got my got his three on me before was actually so much damage. Oh god, they gotta be careful. The Nem's actually owning. She's just got okay, she's got double crit and she's just hacking away at people. They're not killing the Titan. Absolutely lost lost the plot. Alright, be right back. So I don't think there's anything wrong with going like backline Amy and uh, like building a heart ward and keeping my team alive, but I actually think Pesty has value against basically everyone here, even like Ulla a little bit. It's really good against Apwash too, because he stacks it up for you. Okay, good. They're not on fire. I might get the pen, uh, the pen Tiki, just because uh, I've got, I guess I'll walk to this random fight that's happening. I mean, Neja can ult whenever if he wants. I mean, I'm not going to say, feel bad about the stack that I got. We should really do this. See if the Heim can live this. I think... Okay, I'm a little confused, because... Uh, Don't worry about me. I, got this. I think that Nem had no beads for the Heim, so... Enemies in right lane. Well, damn the gods. Right, yeah, I was going to say, I want Nezha to back yes. for it. Guess I'll get the wave. I am the fastest guy on the map, I guess. Careful, right? Don't worry about me. I got this. Prime himself. I 
I mean, I said attack left lane. I think it's what everyone should be doing, but I can actually get the Phoenix by myself if no one comes. Coming. Looks like Nem's coming anyway, but... On my way. If they push mid, I think that's good enough. Nezha can get that Nemesis for sure, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, not the Nem, but the Mulan. I'm gonna slam a little bomb here. And I mean, that's just an easy game for me, isn't it? I mean, what a beautiful level uh, to kill with Thorns. I mean, isn't that nuts, what happened? I think it's nuts. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you want more Conquest videos. Um, since I'd I'd love to be a little multi-role guy and maybe mix it up with some Conquest videos sometimes, but if you don't want to see them, I'll just keep with the dual content. See you guys. Bye-bye.